the warmer weather comes greater desire to get outside and enjoy nature. But with that comes risks as it's tick season, resulting in increased cases of Lyme disease. The early symptoms are the ones where you may have the neck stiffness, the muscle aches, uh, a low-grade fever, the change in appetite. That tends to be in that early phase where this tick has bitten us and put that bacteria into our skin. Ticks burrow deep into the skin, transmitting bacteria, which could lead to Lyme disease. Symptoms can include headaches, breathing issues, or arthritis. In serious cases, inflammation from the heart muscle, swelling of the spinal cord, and facial paralysis are possible. Ticks tend to hide in high grass, so experts advise you keep your lawn mowed and hedges trimmed. When venturing out into the woods or a neighborhood park, think about covering up any exposed skin with an article of clothing. Insect repellents containing DEET can also be effective in protecting exposed skin. Finally, remember to conduct tick checks after coming in from the outdoors. If you find a tick, remove it with tweezers. Do not attempt to use your fingers. That bacteria gets, which is in the saliva, starts to multiply and that causes the expanding rash beyond that initial red mark. And as that bacteria expands under our skin, the center, that initial red spot, starts to fade. So it looks a little bit like a bullseye. If you begin to exhibit those symptoms or notice that bullseye rash, Dr. Sullivan says be sure to see a physician, as generally Lyme disease can be treated with antibiotics. Reporting in Toledo, I'm Jaden Jefferson. Mm -hmm.